Hello, everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and I'm coming to you live from round six of seven of round of day 1A, excuse me, of Gen Con. This is the North American Championships. And yes, we do have another round coming after this. I have a co-commentator for this round, new one, and his name is... Ken Cho. Hashtag District Foundry. What's up, my glip glops? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, let's go ahead and start by breaking down these lists. Who, who are these people? Uh, let's go ahead and start with the list on the right. Sure, so that's Will Barnacle. Uh, he's running four T-65s. Um, I don't know where he's from, but this he's is He's from Peoria, Illinois. Okay. It's a very solid list. Um, he's got uh, Wedge, of course, Garvin, Biggs, um, just running S-foils. And then he's got the Red Squadron veteran in there with Selfless, I believe. Mm -hmm. He's there to take the hits along with Biggs. Um, and uh, obviously, he, he's four, they're both 4-1. and one. Come this far. they got one more to go. And uh, it's very obvious Will knows the T-65 and the ins and outs and um, can use it very that, that mini swarm very effectively. Yeah, and on the left here we have Adam Campers, currently the highest rated Separatist player in the field. This is the Separatist king right yeah. now. And it's well deserved. So I played Adam in the second round and he wrecked me. Um, he's got a very interesting list. Um, those um, Trade Federation, uh, the bomb, the bombardment drones, where they can toss out their munitions out the front. Yep. Um, if you forget about that, like I do, and then roll double hits on <laughs> the, the two I ran over, yep. you're in for a bad day. So uh, Adam also knows his list very well. Um, he tends to fly it in this uh, three by two formation. Then he's going to hard one and go up the middle, kind of like an Inferno Squad. Yeah. Uh, tie swarm, and his. His goal is for the uh, the Naked Trade Federation, which I think has the white dot. There's nothing on there. He's he's there to take the hits. Okay. And the other guys are there to launch their energy shell charges and wreck faces. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, just looking at this list here, uh, he's got G G General Grievous with crack shot, impervium plating, and Solus one. A total of three Trade Federation drones and, like you said, two bombardment drones. Uh, this is going to be the first. This is the debut of Delayed Fuses on the Gold Squadron podcast stream. First time we're going to be seeing it. We'll see if it uh, takes takes any effect. Did it? anything happen during your game? No. So um, I was very aware of missions to come out the back, so I stayed away, and I knew about the Delayed phase, Fuses. Yep. Uh, but, again, I forgot that he can launch them out the front, so I did a lot of try to PS kill these guys, go yeah. range one, and then system phase the next turn, I was eating the proximity mine and rolling double hits. Um, feels bad, man. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so proximity mine can <laughs> – I, I totally missed what he said. What? It's fine. Just – because you have a swarm, just use the small ones. It's fine. Um, yeah, so here comes Adam. He, he likes to go up into the middle of the, the field, the midfield there, and then he's going to hard one in. So he's got uh, two by three column. Uh, so that way the front two are taking most of the hits. Um, and the back four, along with Grievous, um, are sitting pretty. One straight, it looks like, all around for the T-65, slow and low. All right, set. And, yeah, Will's just going to move up. Um, it'll be interesting to see if he turns in to, to, to kind of joust in the middle, which yes. I highly doubt. Yeah, no, um, he won't do that. Yeah. Um, so, short answer to your question, no, I did not experience delayed fuses, but I was very aware, like I said, um, that was what I noticed. I just didn't notice the other thing. So, yeah, It's pretty cool to to note how the delayed fuses work, right? Because there's a situation where he could drop it in front of him yep. and then pass over it, yep. which then triggers delayed fuse, and now it's still there. Yep. That's so, yeah, I'm interested awesome. to see if he, if, he, if he does stuff like that because I didn't get to see it. <laughs> <I didn't> 
<laughs> you feel you feel you feel like you missed out. Uh, I was chipped, yeah. You're chipping. <laughs> what the heck, Adam? All right. Well, you know what time it is. It is time to do a stream poll. We're gonna get that on the screen here in a minute. If you've never participated in a stream poll, it's super easy. All you're gonna do is type one or two in the chat. You're gonna do one for Adam and two for Will. Who do you think is the winner? All right, looks like they're in the end phase, cleaning up, getting ready, and I am going to guarantee that Adam's going to turn those guys hard one, go up. He's got a massive lane here. Yep. Huge lane. That's all, where he wants to play. Yeah, and all he needs are the, I think, the calculates just to launch the, uh, the energy shell charges. Yeah, just requires a, a calculate, which you'll have plenty of, and they all have the... Uh, the uh, the matrix, so to speak, pass yeah. those things back and forth as he needs them. Absolutely, yeah. The network calculation is really powerful ship ability, allowing a ship to use another friendly ship's calculate token right. while attacking or defending. Yep. So when you're in that swarm and basically all of them have, everybody except the Bulba Lab, yep. um, has some type of uh, calculate ability, you got tokens all. You got tokens for days. Yeah, and uh, I know Will's run some cis swarms back before... The hyena came out with a lot of success, and same thing. He, you know, that those calculates are coming out and get the pass them around. Kind of reminds you the bad old days of a tiny mind link. Somebody putting on the chat, and yes, it is true. You can only use one. Calculate from a friendly ship per yep. turn. Yes. So you have your own and a friendly. So you can use a total of two per roll, but one has to be yours. Yeah. Is this the one heart? There, there it is. You, you called it. <laughs> you it's called almost like it. I saw it. Uh, my barrel roll here, too, just to kind of get a little bit more uh, deeper into the lane. But, but no, not, not yet. So I chatted with Adam a little bit afterwards. He's from this, the Indianapolis area. Yeah. Uh, with, he's with the Hangar 19 guys who make great alt arts. And uh, he's been playing this for a few weeks. He really likes it. The local, he said the local scene has gotten, they're used to it, so they know how to counter it. So I think, however, it was a great kind of meta call for him to bring this to, to Gen Con. Yeah, I mean, he's the king of the, king of the Separatists. Yeah. Seems good. Yeah, because there's only, what, nine Separatist lists? <laughs> Playing date one A. Yeah. <laughs> now it looks like Will is going to turn up and uh, square up and to engage. All right. So this is this is gonna be a joust. So the Will Will joust. Will relying on his defensive tech yep. of selfless and big dark lighter to pool the damage and try to spread it around, and uh, Adam just trying to use his extra bodies. Yep. To uh, to do the do the work. Yeah, I think after this round, Will will dial it back to the one straights. Mm -hmm. Let the swarm come to him. The last thing he wants are those energy shell charges coming in, in tandem. Yeah. So if he can control that range engagement and only take one shot, spread that damage around with Bigs and Selfless, uh, I think he's gonna be all right. Yep, and you know I want to take a second here uh, to say thank you so much to our round sponsor, Curl Paw Creatives. Use coupon code GenCon19 for fifteen percent off, no minimums in the shop. Get your if you want those big tokens you see on the table, you can have them for fifteen percent off. Actually, it also has small versions, tokens for all kinds of games. Whether you play, um, you got Armada, he's got Game of Thrones tokens up there, Destiny, all kinds of things. Of course, number one is X-Wing. <laughs> but yeah. he's got other stuff out there, And too. the chat tokens are great. I was thinking of getting a set just to use it in regular play because I can't count how many times I forgot stuff today. <laughs> forgot I had a target lock. Forgot I had proton torpedo still left. So yeah. <laughs> the bigger, the better. That's right. So looking at the stream poll here, Will is leading in... The poll, we only got 53 people participating. No, I think that we can get that number higher than that. I believe. No respect for the sis. 
<laughs> now, a couple of things I want to remind you guys of, some, some changes to the channel. Um, the, we're, we're doing a little bit of an experiment. Lately, people who watch our community games have, uh, have really um, become better, like, good stewards of the chat. Right, understanding that you know players make mistakes, it happens. Uh, not calling people out, stuff like that. Like things have been a lot better, Good. and that was a, that was an issue when people started streaming. Uh, at least the the Gold Squadron community and people watching start to understand. Like, hey, let's just we're just here to have a good time. Let's communicate. If you're gonna yell at anybody, yell at Dion for making mistakes on the stats. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if people in the chat, whether they're new to it or not, know how much unseen pressure yeah. there is. So my round one opponent I had never been on stream it was his first time and he yeah. was super nervous because he was like I don't want to get trash talked yeah and I just kind of like talked him off the ledge I said it's just a game yep. everyone here is the same and pay the same amount to enter this tournament don't worry about the internet yeah it's like you know you could fly the most perfect game and there's always gonna be one guy he's gonna say something yep. but that's why the chat's not part of the uploaded video I believe so it's n it's not uh, for the 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 overall record, but one thing that I've done is a lot of people who are part of our community are uh, Twitch subscribers. Yep. So I have enabled now for August. This is a bit of an experiment. Okay. We're gonna see we're gonna see if we can be responsible stewards of this um, live archives, but for subscribers only. Okay. That's okay? cool. Okay. So it's it's live on Twitch for 14 days. Okay. Um, and that basically makes it so that people who Obviously, if you're watching live, you get to watch, and if you um, if you're a subscriber, you get to watch. If you missed it, but uh, it gives me a little bit of time. Like I don't, I with, with the schedule I have coming up, I'm not going to be able to upload them right away. Right, and that's just the truth. Um, so just have that there for you guys, and hopefully, uh, so I can go back and watch my round one match and see yeah. limited. Is it the full the full thing? Full e chat? Everything. <laughs> okay. Everything. All right. Completely un unfiltered, unlocked. Nice. All right, so we have big decisions coming up here. I doubt Adam is going to, yep, so he's not going to rush in there. He also is trying to nice control that easy. range, engagement. Um, I think he's going to try and get those energy shell charge guys up there. Yep. So I have to say, be going into this tournament, mm -hmm. knowing that range control would be very important. I watched your Rule of Eleven video. Yeah. <laughs> you had to refresh. Oh, Will's going in hard. Okay. Yep. So he he wants he wants to make sure that you know there was a possibility if Adam had gone fast and or a little bit faster, he had only done a one forward where you leave the red squadron and bigs out in front yep and the back two out of range yep. so he wants to make sure everybody's in there getting shots yeah those uh let's see here yeah i don't think he was trying to close range to get within range one of the guys with the energy shell i th i think you're right he just wants to get all four guns on target mm -hmm. you got to kill something this turn. Um, you know, he's facing a bunch of shieldless droids. He's got five health with shields, and he can spread that around a bit. So, yeah, he probably feels pretty good about that. So, straight up, honorable joust. Let's see what happens. Yep. All righty. We're going to make sure that we know what's going on. Boba Lab on the flank here. Grievous out of the arc Grievous, being able yep. to use his ability. When that's when it's time. Take a second in a range. He has Grievous on the bottom, right? Boop. 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 Correct. So that's Grievous. Yeah. The two hyenas. And got it. Okay. Everything in the right order now. That way I just take the take the damage off the right one. Oh, I see. 
keeping all orderly, so yeah. okay. Start of combat. Here we go. Ball wedge. We got wedge. Deciding a target. He's going to go ahead into yellow. This is an energy shell trade federation drone. Yep, that's I like the that correct he's not choice. going. Yeah, he's not going for the the white trade federation drone, which that's their job is to take hits yep. and die. Hit crit. Two dice. Takes that crit. Blinded, Blinded pilot. pilot. No mods. So Will is first player, so he's going to be shooting his four before Grievous goes. Yep. Three hits. So I feel Adam doesn't mind this exchange. Um, he knows as a somewhat long-time cis player that you're going to lose drones. Like, that's that's. Yeah, it's going to happen. I think ideally, though, you would have preferred – to take three shots. Oh, absolutely. Right, three <laughs> shots before losing one rather than only two. Right, and it doesn't help the first two keyed it up. So the other two get to now uh, concentrate. Looks like that's range three. So he, he, he has to shoot bigs. He's Grievous. All right. He's got two coming in. And he's got the focus. He's debating whether he wants to spend it or spread it out. Uh, yeah, he's going to take it. So I-4s are done. They remove the destroyed drone. And then the two... Threes get to. So Will is playing this smart. He's completely ignoring the white drone. Yep. And he's going to have to spend okay. some calculates here. Yep. There's debate here. Do you act, do you save the damage here or hold on to it to be able to sh shoot your shells? He's going to go ahead and spend the calculates. I yeah. think that's the right choice. You need to keep your bodies on the board. Yep. And I think he can pull. I'm not sure how it works, but I think he can pull one of the calculates to still launch that. No. Enemy. No? Cannot. Okay, never mind then. It's only for modification. So Will is Spends getting some really focus. good licks in here. Takes one, and that's into green. All right, now the drones get to. Yep, Biggs, uh, Biggs has no focus now. Adams is, Adam is just hoping not to roll any crits. Yeah. He doesn't want to do selfless. A range three shot on Biggs. Spends a calculate, four, two. Safe. Range three, no mods going into yellow. One. Two hits coming in. All right, he's going to go ahead and take two. No crits rolled. It's a shield and a card. Range three and arc coming from green into bigs. Just one. And bigs takes another one. Now, here's the thing. I know that Adam 
you know, lost a ship and Will didn't. But points right now are even, 24 to 24. Now, give me one moment here. I'm going to take a minute and adjust the... Uh, the view on the dice cam, the, it keeps getting uh, knocked around a little bit by the players. No big deal, though. We have, we have the power. We have the technology to, uh, to fix this. Now, a couple of reminders. Proximity mines happen during the system phase. It's important to remember that. So Adam will have to choose to do that before he moves. Yeah, he's got some tough decisions coming up. You got to crank it way up. Okay, yeah, he's got some tough decisions here. I mean, ideally, of course, you would have loved to take Biggs off the board. Yeah. I mean, that would have given him a huge lead. Um well, Biggs did what Biggs is there to do. Um, well, Will, one Will, one comment that Will made was that, man, you didn't roll any crits at all. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that's bad <laughs> for Will. He's like, I, I, I brought selfless for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> um, I still think Will is coming out ahead on this exchange for sure. You know, maybe. I mean, I guess being able to keep Biggs around – I think what ha I think it depends on what Adam is able to do with these bombs, because if if yeah. if somehow Adam is able to get Will to touch one and like you kill kill Biggs before he gets to shoot or something like yep. that, then it's even game again. So or it's actually it's, excuse me, it swings towards Adam. Red and pink. Okay, so the guys in back are the ones with the the proximity mines. Um, so it's highly doubtful this turn. He can go out the front. Yeah, you absolutely go out the front. Yeah. And, and that's the whole trick. But um, he's got to do that during the system phase, so before he moves. Yep. And then he's got to lay down delayed fuses if he's going to move through it. Right. So I think if Will just one straights or one banks in. That's probably the safest um, thing. But but then if, if Adam goes slow, you've, he's right, next set turn, up the bomb. Yeah, he's next just turn. like right there. Um, but... Yeah, I'm really what he can try and do is he at least erase one of them. Very PS true. PS kill with all four guns on one. And then Biggs will probably die because you're if you run over it, you take a hit, and then you roll the two red dice. Yeah, yeah, 50% chance most yeah. likely takes one. Um, yep. I rolled 100%, so, you know, <laughs> it happens. So, Will, taking a look at that, uh, at that drone dial, <laughs> it is very odd. If you haven't uh, played against these drones, let's take a second and, and look look through that dial just so we can we can talk about it a little bit. So the drones have one hearts, no one banks. You got blue, two hearts, two banks are white, three straight is blue, two straight is blue, two through excuse me, I'm gonna start that over again. I'm a little <laughs> I'm tired too. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. Uh, hard turns. Ones are white, twos are blue, threes are white. For the straights, two, three, and four are blue, five is white. And we get to the banks, three banks are red. One K and two talent on the drones. Then when you compare that with the hyena, um, hyena gets the one banks, but they're red. And there are no three banks at all. Right. Most of the other stuff is pretty similar. So they're pretty pretty happy in the uh, two range, hanging out. I'm really curious to see what he what he can do here. This is a big turn for Adam. It is. Um, I think it's more setting up for the next turn. Yeah. Okay. He's just gonna go too straight. Try and inflict max damage with the um, with the prox mines out the front. The energy shell, yeah, so he's going I for like, the block I, here because he's just bring like up those it. guys in the back. So he's he has two options here. He's either going to try to punish him for going one straight or if that, I guess, you know, the bomb didn't even come out. So there's there's no uh, no system phase shenanigans. So the bomb is not in the plants.
It's a hard one. Probably going to get a barrel roll towards the bottom of the board. Yep. And calculate. There it is. Now, the one risky thing with uh, blocking like this, there's a possibility for, you know, if, if Will went one forward with everybody, the front two, of course, bump. But then you got range one shots with uh, yeah. with Garvin and, and, and Wedge there at range one, probably deleting one of these drones. I'm really interested to see what Adam does with those um, bombardment drones. All right. Will saying, you know what? This is just a bad place to be. I'm out. Biggs three banking away. He did close the wings. Notice that the token is closed. So we might see a focus boost here from Biggs. It's currently he is in the arc of the Green Feder Tread Federation drone who has an energy shell available. There it is. Focus boost. So unless Adam did a one hard towards Biggs, there's no way uh, he's going to be shooting Biggs with the hyenas. All right, so a bump there for Biggs. Excuse me, not for Biggs, for the red squadron. Adam debating his activation order. Here we go. Yep, so he's setting up for that um, proximity mine out the front the next turn without uh, nuking his own guys. I think Will... Oh, I like this move. I like the bank there. Yep. Uh, I am that Dave. Um, stream prizes w with with all my my globe trotting, like you said, uh, won't be shipped out until mid September, at the earliest. I'm just being honest. I usually say four to six weeks anyway. Right. This is we're 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 gonna say eight to ten now. Cause I'm not gonna come, you know, come back from traveling the world and be like, "Sorry, honey, I'm still not gonna hang <laughs> out with you." Gotta get that swag out. Yeah, I gotta get the swag out. <laughs> I'm gonna be on lockdown for at least a couple of weeks, and I mean that in the most loving way. I want to spend time with my family. <laughs> All right, so Grievous on the flank still. I think Will is definitely going to try and erase uh, Magenta, the bombardment. Magenta? Drone That's that number that pink, fam. Number pink. Excuse what a, me. Uh, <laughs> how dare you? Yeah. That's a range one there. So I think they confirmed it was range one. Yep. So it's going to be rolling four dice here. And Will just looking at his options. He's going over damage assessment for. And asking how much drone. health like yeah. how, on those bombardment drones. They have five hull. They can't be, without crazy circumstances, they can't be one shot. You get a nice crit chain in there. Fuel a crit. That's why I said unlikely. Yeah. 
It could happen. You're I don't right. know. The uh, 2.0 damage decks, they're pretty ruthless. All right, so Wedge uh, cannot shoot the Green Trade Federation drone. Doesn't matter. It's going into number pink. Takes all four. Takes four into the uh, the bombardment drone. Yep. So it's most likely. Oh, sorry. No, bag. that's a lie. That's into the white one right in oh, front. Oh, he went to white. Took the easy shot. Yeah. I mean, just taking something off the board. Yeah. Seems good. Garvin has choices now. All right, hit crit. Has a chance. Nope. Natties! Hit it, baby. Nope. Show me the natties in the chat. Give it to me. So that now was that, unfortunate. Uh, it was exciting, though. So it's like Grievous is going into Wedge. He's got the re-rolls. Yep. This is uh, Grievous' ability. And well, that's going to that be focus. two. Yep, there's shields. Still hasn't rolled any crits. That's two shields down on, on Wedge. Three hits is pretty good. Two. Wow. <laughs> Still wow. takes one. I'm not sure what the target was, and that was on that was on the pink bombardment okay. drone. And here we go. Just continue pouring into wedge here. Whiffs on that first shot. So range two. <laughs> Sacred game state. Fence calculate the one that shot already. Yep. For two. Takes one. All right. Into the hole on Wedge. That's half points. Adam ahead. That's half, and more importantly, um, Wedge could very well die during activation phase next he turn. He could with a bomb. Yep. One of each. Spends a calculate. That's two Ooh. more. Wedge is gone. Ugh. Or do you have one hole left? He's got one left. Excuse me. Yeah, he's got one hull, and he's not going to be able to avoid the yeah, prox the, the, mine. The bomb is coming, um, for sure. Well, not true. So if he launches the prox mine, I think he's out of the actual token, and then um, Garvin or Red Squadron can uh, can cause it to go off before Wedge True. Moves. I guess one of the issues also is the fact that so right, he has, he's got delayed fuses. He goes yep. one. Sh Let me get this out of the way. He's got you got the one straight. Yep. Then the bomb token. Right, so it's is so a hit. I don't think it I don't will. think it. I don't think it reaches. Your his drone needs to fly through it. Yep. That's fuse number one. Yep. And then you gotta avoid hitting it again so that it actually does something to the X wings. Could you risk putting out both of them? Does that hit the bombardment drone? Like, if because if that doesn't hit the which this is exactly like Adam is above the table trying to eyeball right. this. If it doesn't hit the bombardment drone and it can just go through, excuse me, the uh, the the trade drone, he can go through it, triggers fuse. Same thing here, and I, then he's got two procs. Yeah, so I think he's gonna have right the there. two procs. I think. The the Green Trade Federation drone will clear if it just goes straight. Yep. Just blows through it, and then 
Um, Red Squadron, who's Red Squadron's white, could actually proc both of those by going through both. Yep. He'll I'm take two damage, and then he's going to roll two sets of two dice for additional damage. And here's something important to know about delayed fuses. It reads, after you drop or launch a bomb or launch or place a bomb, you may place the fuse marker. So he gets to see if it hits because yep. they are big. Yep. They might just reach. So he doesn't have to fuse it until after he knows whether it hit the first time or not. Oh, man. I think they don't reach. Um, I think they don't reach. I think, uh, especially if he does it too hard away, that white tr TDF is uh, okay. Yeah. I think Adam's looking at the board saying, man, I wish that one straight was a little lo longer so I can just <laughs> clip wedge. Just a little longer so I can clip wedge. Yeah. Now, for anybody who's wondering, because I did see the chat ask this question earlier, if a prox mine hits multiple ships, the owner of the bomb chooses which ship it hurts when you initially drop it. That's important to note. Right, but... Whoever travels through it first, right? Whoever travels right, through yeah. it first, it hits them. But, but like, oh, I see what you're saying. In yeah. this situation, let you know if it just let's say you know he was here and it just dropped on all three. Yep. Adam would get to choose. Got it. Well, we know what his choice would be. Yeah, wedge, go. Home. <laughs> all right, let, let's let's get a uh, an informal stream poll. Y and N, do you think? The drop of one forward from number pink would catch Wedge. Yes or no? What do you think? Is it going to catch? Informal stream poll. I don't want to take the time to type because the action <laughs> might be over by the time I finish typing it. Got a Y's coming in. Some no's. Mmm. I would say it's like 75-25 right now. Really? Okay. Ooh, and you don't 80, have the overhead set up. 80-20. I don't right? have. Okay. No, I don't. Because the, the lighting doesn't, yeah. doesn't allow for it. Adam's really going through. This is a big order, turn. Yeah, the order of movement. Who could do what. What his guys have to do to steer clear. X N. Your congratulations! You just reached—he reached the 12 month, the one nice. year mark of Twitch Prime. You just got upgraded on your um, your stream badge to the helmets. Let's get some thumbs up for that that person. So uh, one one conversation, one conversation I had with my wife the other day, Ken. Yep. Was uh, was she asked me, what do you call the people who watch your streams? I'm like, what do you mean? She hmm. goes like, like, do you have like a name for them, like a like a pet name, basically? And I was like, n n no. She's like, you should come up with one. And I'm like, how how does how does one go about? doing that it's it's awkward someone just needs to come up with a catchy a catchy word yep um but i know what she's talking you, about you know what i mean i do um yes. my wife is a big fan yep there it goes uh, adam's kind of been waiting uh, the entire engagement uh, for it uh, oh that the is answer big is that's gonna be no oh, just oh. shy but wedge got him oh got him now he's got to roll two dice for posterity. It's it's one damage, one damage. automatically. Yep. Hey, did better. But it didn't nice. matter. You just needed one anyway. Yep. That hurts. So now now Adam gets to choose if he wants to drop the other one now that he saw that. that I don't think he will. Holy crap, that was exciting. I love the people saying, told you so. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody suggested here, Goldies. Goldies, okay. G I, I think that's a front runner. G-Pods. Nah. N nuggets. No. no. Nuggets. Nugs. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. 
troopers. Nah, I think Goldie's the front runner right now. Well, you know what? That that makes sense because you know we have the Goldie's Awards, right? Right. And it's for the people, from the people. Yep. It there might you work. Go. My Goldie's. Hello, my Goldie's. Yep. So it looks like Adam did Maybe. launch the second Proxmine forward, and I believe he said he's doing the delayed fuse. I think that's what I heard. He kind of has to. Did he? So that guy target locked. Um, did, he call, did he call I, it out loud? Did you hear him say I it? I heard him say it, but we obviously don't see the token, and we know there are delayed fuse tokens out there. Right. It's right here. But, of course, if they, if they say it, they might just not be putting it out because it's going to yeah. do stuff. What would he be doing where – does a one hard not – I guess, no, a one hard would keep him safe if he did fuse one. Because um, number pink is going to go over it right. no matter what. But I think the one, a one hard from red – would avoid it. Okay, so he did oh, not delay views it. Initiative order. The yep. Will is first player, so gotcha. he goes first. So that's going to be one damage automatically and then on, roll the, two dice. on the red. Oof. So Adam up here, 83 to 43. About 30 minutes left in the round. But Bartman drone showing, show him some work. Yeah, um, that was kind of, I mean, Wedge was already severely damaged from concentrated fire, but that never feels good, and I think Will went from kind of having the game somewhat in hand to now he's got an uphill battle. Yep. Well, Adam, Adam effectively used the tools he had available to get him in, get him that advantage. Yeah. And with you know with Biggs just kind of floating around limping right now, he's diminished his attack power. Right. That's one of the things when you disengage a ship from a swarm like this, uh, from like a block, is you're saving the points on that ship, but now you've lowered your amount of attack that yep. you got out there. And what is Garvin's ability? Garvin, after you spend a focus when attacking, you can pass it to a friendly. Ah. This is, I think, honestly, out of all the games, this is probably one of the more interesting, not interesting, um, competitive ones we've had because they had a really big swing in it. Yep. Most of the other ones have been one-sided. Great game, Adam and Will. Would you say it's a particular faction reigning on top with these one-sided matches? I mean, clearly the field is um, heavily skewed towards Imperials. It but is. We have it. We've had some. We've had a good mix yeah. of stuff. Uh, ship ship got dropped. Ship got hit. Are you saying Andrew Knuckles and Chris Allen's match was heavily one-sided? Honestly, <laughs> I don't remember. Now that that went back and forth too. That was a good okay. game. That was a good game. Ah, uh, did he go one hard right or left? No. I'm gonna go ahead and mark the red squadron. I out think of he'll the way. clear it, which actually is not great for that guy. Um, he might take a shot, but he's gonna get prox mine next turn again, as, yeah. assuming that he lives. Because he can't die. He's got range one. He's got to calculate out there for his action. Um, he's got four health. He may take two shots in the back. Truth. Malik Rikon, congratulations. Six months, you got your second star. Woo -woo. Second badge, baby. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Lou the lunatic. <laughs> you, you could send him the link. Grievous is going to bump here, but he's going to have a shot on to the Red Squadron out of the arc. One thing, Adam's done a great job of of managing Grievous, right? Yep. Honestly, it's some of the best that I've seen where he didn't have to go like this giant, you know, out of the way path to try to get the flank. He used the uh, the threat of the swarm to right. pull Will in, and, the and he's had his ability done every time. all the work. Yep. At this point, for Adam Grievous is just icing on the cake for whatever he can put in. Um, I like that. That. You know, with these swarms, typically you either wipe everything out or you have one guy who's the closer. And what? This is Wedge. Uh, this is, excuse no me, this wedge. is Garvin. Excuse yeah. me. So three hits, I assume, into. Yep, he's going to take two. Take two. Into the bombardment drone. And he really needs to finish it off, or like you said, I think Approxmine will hit both the T-65s right there. And he, like you said, he gets All to right, choose. All right, range one from Grievous into the red. So we're rolling two, one. One hit only. Still right, takes still, a still damage. Takes it. <laughs> Shields are down. So this could finish. Yep. Oh, yeah. that's above average. Spend it. Adam is a <laughs> Adam called himself a sad panda. He's able to use a calculate, but he Doesn't only has matter. two holes Yeah, he's taking the, the hit and the crit. Which really, again, another yeah. swing. And look, look at the points, 83 yep. to 82 right now. Another swing. Um, this has been a good game. He's still got one drone with energy shell, I think. Hold on, I gotta go through this uh, list of uh, corpses here. Yep. Yeah, he's, no, wait, no, that's gone. Gone, gone, green. Green still has, okay. Yep. Green's the MVP in this list right now. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and it's still active, you see the charge there. Yep, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go adjust the, the dice box. They've jiggled it around okay. a little bit. How dare they? It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> well, while Dion's gone, I'm going to play with this marker board here. Um, green, who's got the energy shell, I feel like he's got to do the too hard. He wants to calculate. This guy can't really make that turn without going over the rock and perhaps ending up on the rock unless he's too three hard. And then Grievous... Will bore in, and I don't know if Grievous wants to do that uh, because you'll have Biggs turn in. You could see K turns from those two. Did those two T65s are they in formation? They're not bumped. Uh, they are perfectly aligned. Okay. So if they both went straight currently, right, they would still get action. Okay, so they could both K turn and yes, not cause one to not K turn. So even though they're unmodded, I don't think Grievous wants to face. All three T sixty fives, right? Especially since you have Bigs back in formation, um, and especially if he rolls crits, Red Squadron will gladly take those. <laughs> Give me your crits. Yes. Yeah. Weary, so, uh, weary so, children. Yeah. So the game definitely swung again, um, even though Adam's got the one point lead. He's got, he's got the hill to climb now. Yeah. These are the best kind of games. Yeah. I have to say, for being in round six, they're they, looking pretty fresh still. They're not. You know, they were talking about, like, oh, man, I'm feeling so tired. These guys are playing lights yeah. out right now. They're doing great. They are doing an amazing job. Thank you so much to these gentlemen. You know what? I think I think I just found another um, sponsorship opportunity like the the game of the day. <laughs> the state farm sure. skate, you know, sure. something like that. 
So this is this is the whatever that is game of the day, I think, right here. Adam Kempers versus Will Barnacle. Feels good. You know what? You're you're here, Ken. We'll yeah, give it to you. I, this is the it, district it, foundry. Okay. <laughs> this is this is the district foundry. I mean, game it, of the it week could still easily swing the other way. Yeah, you it's know, so close. It's, it is super close, and Grievous is full up. I believe maybe he took one damage, but two shields, five health. So I said game of the week, game of the day, game of the day. We still got we got so many match days. of the day, match of the day. Both these gentlemen are X and one right now. Yeah, they have confirmed basically it takes six and one or better to advance to Sunday, much like the system opens. And, uh, you know, whoever emerges from this victorious has to keep that mental resolve because you're going into a seventh round, five and one, which for a system open, yeah. you're iced. Yeah. But you lose that seventh round. Yep. And that's now, bad times. I do want to know that I, I do know that the board is a little bit skewed right now with the camera. I didn't want to go adjusting camera angles uh, because it just take too long. So I, I got you guys. At the end of this round, I'll go and adjust again and fix that giant gap in the bottom right-hand corner. Yep, here comes Biggs, and I almost guarantee you'll see those K-turns from the two T-65s, Garvin and Red Squadron. Um, because green still has energy shells. Red is kind of can't make that turn. I'm sorry, we missed something. We forgot to add the two hull taken uh, onto the red squadron. Right. Adam's ahead 106 to 82. Okay, so he, he got the half, all right. Yeah. Seeing the... Breaking out. Interesting. <laughs> I want to take a look. You know, one thing we got to talk about: where is Will in terms of Rebel players? Well, there were what fifteen? I think there were fifteen. Yeah, there there isn't that many. He's he's one of the top for sure. Yeah. Right, because we know that Will won. We don't know if uh, Michael Simon. So he's in the running for top. Okay. Top Rebel, even if he loses this game. And and we know that Adam right now is a top rated Separatist, yep. so that's awesome. One straight. It's going in for that block. Yeah, the two damage came from the uh, proximity mine. Um, and the dice box was off because I was adjusting it because we had gotcha. gotten bumped over there. We got one more round after this one. Let me know in the chat. Who, g give me some gunboats if you've watched all six rounds today so far. Oof. Who's watched all six today? I hope uh, they were at least being productive if they were doing that. House <laughs> chores, what have you. Yeah, that counts. That counts if you were in and out. No way that clears. There we go. There we go. We got some out there. At least three, four. Ah, quite a few. Nice.
Mr. Uh, the Smooth Skeleton, why seven rounds? That was the, the choice of the format for, uh, for FFG. Now, is that normal to all continentals? Like, will Euros be that I way? I think Euros okay. is going to be the exact same way. It, I think mi it might be to give more time to the um, the faction breakdowns. Right, and that I also think the expectation was Natties, wow. baby. The expectation was that uh, each day, day 1A and day 1B, we're going to have over 200 players. So at that point, it made sense based on the numbers, but I don't think they quite filled... Today, I think we, they said that we had 115 players, and I know tomorrow has plenty of spaces open. <laughs> Zarcasm82, you know what? You, you've been a, a year Twitch Prime, good trade. <laughs> so I think Grievous just lost both his shields um, from Biggs. And the two hits coming in from Adam. He's got the one. It's what he needed. Is that one hole there on the red? How many shields does Grievous start out with? Oh, I, I tapped it twice. Maybe it just didn't okay. go. Starts off with two. Bam. It's going to get... Oh, man. this These next two rounds. <laughs> yeah. Um, green can get eliminated. Oh, Thoth, thank you so much, man. I appreciate your donation. Thank you so much. Garvin might have to be the MVP here. He's the only one at full health. Uh, Bombardier, the... Yeah, I, I want to take a second and read this real quick. Yeah. So uh, Thoth donated $50. Thank you so much, man. He said, hey, Dion, haven't been able to afford Patreon or a sub for a long time, but I just got a promotion, and the first thing I'm doing with my raise is throwing some love your way. Congrats to you. Thank you for uh, for doing so much for the X-Men community. See you in Minnesota in October. Absolutely, man. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. What's in Minnesota in October? Uh, the Grand Championship. <laughs> oh, also the Gold Squadron Classic. That's, or not, sorry, no. prelims now. Worlds, right? He's talking about Worlds. Uh, 13. 13 minutes. Yeah, so I think he's talking about Worlds in October. Oh, October. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> it's round six. I will see you at Worlds. Yes, I'll be there. I think it's November where there's the Grand in St. Louis. That's November. Okay. Yeah. The other. Your event, which yes. I may try and make out, uh, turn it into Italian Beef Con. Italian Beef Con. <laughs> Although I hear there's a Portillo's in the Indianapolis area, so there, there is. Um, Las Vegas Open is in January, I think. That's the next grand. A lot of deliberation going on here because this is a key turn. The next one's going to be super key. So many guys who are on fire and are just so close to getting eliminated. All right, hard turn here. Three towards the middle of the board.
And a barrel roll here. One would really hope Garvin did a one bank right. I'm actually kind of surprised by the barrel roll. Yeah. But he might be trying to, it, if Garvin does the 4K, that's what that barrel roll is about. I think we're talent roll, yep. Trying to get some guns on target. I think Will is going to square up every one of his ships on something. Yeah. And pray for dice variants. I want to remind you guys to stick around after the match. We have our giveaway section brought to you by District Foundry. So make sure you stick around. All right, that's going to be a hard two. Clears the stress. Interesting. I think at this point, this game's about uh, just taking out bigs, get more points. Yep. Adam calls on the power of Roger Roger while placing that uh, calculate token. Closing them, so I think he did a one forward. No, never mind. What'd you do, Grievous? What'd you do? All right, there's the boost. Smart move. And that's okay, because he's the full health. He's the guy who's still. And I think that's a sloop. Very nice. Uh, just a three bank. Oh, no, that's a sloop. Never mind. Will would have blocked it, but he would ran. Have. All right, range two from uh, from Grievous has his ability up. One of each, that's average. Should be getting at least one more. Oof. Got two. And that's going to be it. Ouch. He's able to focus out for one, but he needed two. So long, Biggs. Apostus in the chat says the boost was a grievous error. Dad yeah, jokes nyah, are nyah, strong nyah, with nyah. that guy. <laughs> Will getting one. Natties. All right, so we're cleaning up end phase. Magic242 in the uh, in the chat says, Hey, Ken, hope you're having a blast. By the way, this is Nebraska Rob. Oh, nice. Hi, Nebraska Rob. It would be Rob Beals from Nebraska who makes easily two-plus-hour drives to play in Wyoming. Beal. I feel like that yeah. name is familiar. And Colorado, as we have a much more active scene than the western side of Nebraska. I'm sure Omaha on the eastern side has a pretty active scene, but... Well, it's kind of tough for Will, but he still does have a full health T-65. Adam's got a bunch of shieldless ships that Dice Variants could, uh, could swing it back. Yep. The unfortunate part is those drones are cheap as chips, as the British say. Yep. So he's got to get, I think, the wind condition he's got to get both the drones and half on Grievous to even have a chance of the points. Yeah, because these drones we're looking at 32 for the bombardment, 19 for the Trade Federation drone, um, and even Grievous is a paltry 44 points. <laughs> so. Just playing this list feels bad. You yep. put in all this work. I got half on a Trade Federation drone. Here's your 10 points. Enjoy. 
Green still has energy shells. Let's note that. They'll be, they'll be calling official time of the round here any second. We've got a few Adam. extra minutes. Adam. He, he just he just he just called it. I heard him say it. We're, we're good. So I think I heard Will sort of chatting to Adam what his win conditions are. He's like, what okay. points I've got to tally up here. Yeah. Um, yeah, because even getting all of Grievous gets you to 120. Yeah. 124. Yeah, you have to, it's Grievous and another thing. You probably focus on the other thing first. Get yeah. it get it done so you're avoiding some shots. Try to take out the uh, the green trade, trade, trade Federation drone. The problem with all of this is Red Squadron has one hall left. Yeah. Um, and I think it's about to go away. Could PS kill? Yeah, the Trade Federation drone. Not going to take up the bombardment. And especially now with Grievous coming right into his grill like that. I think he clears it. I'm sorry. We did. We were. We were bad at math. I think if uh, if Will can get Grievous, he's winning. Fifty-five plus eighty-two. Is it fifty-five? The yeah, because says... he's not half. You were looking at the base price. Oh, not the total. Never mind. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Excuse me. I had a stroke. So. It's your your. <laughs> <laughs> That's my excuse. That's your excuse. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. I guess. All right, uh, here we go. Ooh, <laughs> Adam. Two Oof. hits, two crits. Oof. You know, you know what's I ironic is that Adam hasn't thrown any crits this game until then. Until that one. Into the one that was wanting crits the whole time to yep. absorb it. Whew. So at this point, yeah. If I, he needs to destroy two, he needs to destroy Grievous and one of the other ones to even have a chance. Yeah. And not get half. And with three minutes This left, should be the last, yeah. last round of the game. Well, that was really well played. This whole, it, like I said, it kind of was on knife's edge for like four turns there in a row. Could have yep. gone either way. So remind you guys, we have one more round, and normally there's just six. There's seven today. We got bonus seven rounds. rounds. Bo bonus round. <laughs> yes. Um, it's seven. We're going to try to find another bubble game. Yeah, and whoever is on stream, like whoever's playing in the seventh round deserves major props. Oh, yeah. I mean, just the, the mental dexterity. 2.30 left. So I wonder how many guys in chat found this match to be the most exciting of the day. Like, this really was an exciting. I mean, match. those of you, those of you who who've watched so far, do you get overtime deal? <laughs> 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 yeah, sure. That's how this works. Uh, I don't, I, trust me, I I don't. Pay eight hours for you was like five hours ago. <laughs> So I, I don't. If I were to pay myself by the hour, I don't think I could afford myself. <laughs> I think Dion clears seventy-five cents an hour. <laughs> Something like <laughs> that. As a person who works for himself as well. Right. Yeah. All right. Side to side method, just to save a little time. So 
So yeah, we're coming up on one minute left here. They're still moving through. This will most definitely be the last. Yeah. Right. Will, will knows. Well, I mean, Will, like you said, is still in very much in contention for top Rebel player for this faction. Yep. One hit. He's trying to end it and hey, gets hey. it. He got it. He got it. He got half points on it. I think that's the only shot. All right, they're going to get one more in here. Sure. <laughs> 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 I want to thank the players for playing. And, you know, I want to know. I know both Adam and Will personally, so I'm a little, like, eh, whatever. <laughs> right, I, don't, I don't want you guys to think I'm being rude to the players. I, I know them both. All right, guys, so uh, we're going to do giveaways really quickly after this so we can get ready for the next round. Uh, we don't want to miss the, uh, yeah, the pairing, especially um, this is going to be one of the last games that's finishing up. And I know. Well, now there's plenty of other, like, games yeah. going on in the hall. They just finished, yeah. This is it. It's over, though. Yeah, they really want the results because they probably are ready to press that button on pairings for round seven. Yeah. I then, Isofane, thank you so much for your donation. Overtime pay. Isofane. Thank you, sir. I got to meet Isofane in person someday. He's he's a beautiful man. Where'd you uh, where'd you get I, up with him? I, in uh, Seattle. Okay. And I'm staying at his house when I go to, to okay. Sacramento. So he's in California. Then. Yeah. Okay. I'm calling it the uh, the the Isofane hyperspace trial. When is the Sacramento uh, hyperspace? Uh, not next week. The weekend after that. Oh yeah, I can't make that. <laughs> <laughs> I got my own hyperspace. I got to go to. That's right. And it's in a brewery, and I can't partake, but their food is delicious. So I'm excited about that. August Great Escape Games is that your guys? No. No, maybe maybe that's the name of the place I'm going. I actually don't yeah, even know that's the where, that's where you're going. <laughs> I don't even know the name of the place. I'm just showing up. I have an address. I mean, do yeah. you ever really remember any of the game store names aside some, from like your some, local ones? Some of them Murray. I I know you go to Murray a lot it seems. I still just once. I went there one okay. time. <laughs> I went there one time. They asked me to go a second time. I couldn't go. Okay. Lord Raven 99 will be at Sacramento. Awesome. Nice. I imagine you get a lot of fans who come up and want to, like, shake your hand and stuff <laughs> when they see in your person. Don't, don't make it weird. Come on. <laughs> don't make it weird. It's fun. Well, you just have, like, that's the impressive are, thing are about. Are we holding up the whole tournament? No. Uh, kind of. Yeah. God dang it. <laughs> but, uh, all right, natties. Ouch. Hit, crit, crit. Oh. And that's game. Finally. Well played by both both participants. Did, did the X-Wing die there at the end? No. Uh, I took one shield. Took one shield. 153 to 94. All right, guys, let's go ahead, and I want to make sure that I'm on it. 
my my friend Michael Juris, the marshal, is look giving me some stink eye for holding up the trim. Pushing it, Dion. I'm sorry. Pushing it. I'm sorry. Will had to go to the bathroom. He did. He I did. Was like, and a long you know, day take, like you know, this. I will. I will. I'll take. You, you know. Gotta I'll take give the him that beating. Courtesy. He had to go potty, man. Can't. All right. We're gonna we're gonna flip to giveaways. We're gonna do this real quick though. Uh, giveaways brought to you by District Foundry. Use coupon code GenCon19 for 15 percent off. Let's go ahead and give away one, two, three. You should give a complete set. Four. No, uh, too, too expensive to ship. Expect- <laughs> Five. Not, not even joking. Like, it's just it. Boom. All right. Yeah, I mean, like, a set of these cards, not what. No, still, it's like at once you once you get, like, past, like, there's, so there's seven you of them. First class. Once you once you get four like uh, sorry five cards in a thing, that's when I have to end up paying more, and it's just not efficient. Oh, I know that pain. Yeah. yeah, it's just not. All right. It's public grooming. Hey. All right, here we go. We're gonna do our giveaways. How do you participate? Just type in the chat. That's all you gotta do. Type, 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 type. We prefer to see gunboats, but per, per, whatever whatever works for you. True. True. All right, here we go. Uh, first thing is. Blue screen pilot. Three, two, one, go. Innkeeper zero one, you won. And the way you claim your prize is to type exclamation point win. That's it. And then you fill in the form there. Make sure you get it right. If you don't uh, complete it correctly, you're in the doghouse. No prizes for you. Rex nice. Brath tech card. Three, two, one, go. What does that say? Murek Zero? Yeah, Murek Zero. Hello, <laughs> hello world. Three, two, one. X Nair. X Nair. Tech card Null. Three, two, one. Go. Omne. And last but not least, Anakin Skywalker. Three, two, one. Go. Nutano One. Nutano One. Well, I want to thank District Foundry for sponsoring our giveaway section. We'll be back probably in about 10 minutes. All right? Yep. Round seven. Here we go.